Hey friends, I'm Miss Katie and I'm going to read another book with y'all today. And I have two friends with me. I have my niece, <laughs> Nelwyn, and my nephew, Owen. Owen. And today we're going to read a book called Eek Said Amy. Eek and Said Amy. Yeah, and it was written by L.J. Zimmerman and it was illustrated by Charles Long. Next. So that's who made all of the pictures, Charles Long. So let's see what our story says. This says, hi, I'm Devin. And this is my friend, Amy. She's an amygdala. 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 What is that? We're gonna find out, let's see. Amy lives in my brain. She has a very important important job. She helps me to feel emotions. We don't need to do the same thing that we did. Like happiness. happiness. Yeah, happiness. And Sad. sadness. And anger. Yeah, anger. And fear. Fear isn't fun. <gasps> okay, you get this. But it's important. Yeah, go look at the faces. Yeah. Amy sends me fear signals to help me stay safe. She says, Eek, careful. Don't go in a chair without supervision or permission. Yeah. She makes my heart beat faster. And she ties knots in my tummy. Yay. Does that feel good to have knots in your tummy? No. 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 It's not fun. It's in your fear. She tells me to run away. <gasps> or to fight. <laughs> or to freeze. Eek, just stay really still and she'll forget you're here. Devin, do you know the answer? Is it scary to answer questions sometimes? If you don't yeah. have the answer, then yes. Yeah. If you have the answer, then no. But if you're afraid to, like, stay right then. Yeah. So, Amy and I make a great team. What most of the time. Yeah. Sometimes, Amy thinks I need to be afraid. Eek, it's a monster! And it's a chair. Even when I don't. Yeah, it's a chair. You don't need to be afraid of a chair, right? When Amy gets fired up, it's hard to calm her down. She's on red alert. When Amy's on red alert, things that are only a little scary become super scary. Spider. Eek, a giant monster run away. Spider the size of two inches becomes a spider the size of 10 feet. That's Next. right. When Amy's on red alert, it's hard to think clearly. Do you want to play with me, with us? Eek! What if you aren't good at basketball? What if you fall down? What if they laugh at you? What if you say something silly? Those are all things that we can be afraid might happen. When Amy's on red alert, I start to worry about stuff that I know doesn't make sense. Oh no, I stepped in a crack. Eek! You have to go back and start over or else something bad might happen. Nothing will happen if you step on a crack. Yeah, so that's something that we don't need to really be worried about, right? Unless you're playing a game in your class, don't step on the cracks, which is a little game. Yeah, it's yeah. just a game, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe they'll play a he playing good, but he, but he needs to start over that game. Yeah. Unless it's so just... I talked to my mom about how scared I was feeling. That's always a good idea to talk to your mom, right? Yep. And mom helped me figure out how to calm down Amy when she's on red alert. Now, when Amy's on red alert, I take a deep breath. I imagine God's love filling up in me. Let us say God. 
God's love. I imagine God's love filling up in but, me. And then I let it all out. I imagine all the scary feelings leaving my body. I keep going until Amy calms down. Tell you that a purple. Mm-hmm. Purple people. When, uh, see, my dad helped me to learn Bible verses that I can say when I'm scared. Now, when Amy's on red alert, I say Psalm 23. You know how that starts? It starts, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord I don't need to be afraid. I don't need to be afraid. Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. I, I don't, don't need, need to, to be, be afraid. afraid. That's right. She seems to like it. Sometimes it helps to thank Amy for all of her hard work. Thanks, Amy. I know you want to keep me safe. God gave her a very important job after all. But sometimes I have to be brave and face my fears. Amy understands. I'm glad gave, God gave me Amy to show me how to be afraid. afraid. And how to be brave. The end. Thank you guys for helping me. Can we say a prayer really quick? What yes. kind of prayer? All right. Let me repeat after me. Okay. And say, dear God, dear God, God, thank you for helping me learn how to be afraid. Thank you for helping me learn how to be afraid. And thank, thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for keeping me safe. And thank you for always being with me. Thank you for always being with me so that I can be brave. So that I can be brave. Amen. Amen. Where is that?